Where's your room thermostat? Is it in the hall? Installer, do you walk into a house and see a room thermostat in the hall and just ignore it and think it's in the correct place? Well, obviously it should be in the lounge. And if you're a homeowner, have you got one of these in your hall? If so, stay tuned and I'll give you some hints and tips. How to get the best out of your terrible situation because you are overpaying your fuel bill. If your thermostat is in the hall, try doing this experiment. If you can get a good th digital thermostat and put it nearby to see what the actual real temperature is. Now we've set this one here at 20 degrees, which is normal. Let's see by turning it down when it switches off. And it's 17 degrees, which is absolutely brilliant. Top of the range Honeywell or anybody else's. But if yours is more than six years of old and even older, longer, then it's going to be getting not three degrees, but six degrees. And that's never going to happen in a hall. It's always going to be at least 14 degrees, which it never will be. So not many houses will be that cold. Let's see why a digital thermostat, that's a digital thermostat, and that's definitely digital. And the Drayton 901RF is the next video I'm going to make for you to have within the home. Mobility with controls. I look forward to making that. But anyway, thanks for watching this video and I'll show you how to test a room thermostat. Even if it's in the front room or it actually clicks off at 20. If your room thermostat is in the hall and it's old fashioned analog, you may have problems. Very often, if you take the cover off, make sure that you are approved electrician or gas safe, you may see these two wires, blue and brown. Blue should be sleeved to show it's got voltage. If it's got four and it should have four, that's 230 volt room thermostat. Often this is not done. This is just pure laziness by installers. Whether it's an electrician or a gas saving engineer or anybody else. First of all, if we look at the box, it says room thermostat, which is, I've said in many videos, for some reason, installers and specifiers don't look at the leaflet inside and it clearly shows a lounge. And it also clearly shows it must have three wires, two lives and one called common and one called switch live and a neutral. So if yours is here, Hurricane Alley Tornado for our American friends, then you should move it and change it. And you can see in this leaflet here, don't fit a room stat in a draft. There you are. It's easy to see that. The next thing I'd like to show you is that as the thermostat gets older, it will then overshoot and undershoot, as you've seen in the video. Not two or three degrees, but four, five or six degrees. So that's staying on longer and switching off longer. So you can make the house feel hot and cold. This is just basic wire. Look at the orange and the wire and the app, the new app we've got. It's terminal three, either switching off live or white wire or brown wire. Goes to the zone valves. So this is why our new app, which has only just come out and, and it's got lots of good things. And don't forget to subscribe to our videos and order the two books. This is our usual logo, just to show you that we've got books, apps and videos. Thanks for watching, subscribe to our channel and take care.